The bridge by the apartments takes the leopard trail over a low-lying gully, an easy shortcut for the cats into the city. It's a perfect place for Steve to find out how and when they're leaving the park to enter the streets and to capture an image that shows the extraordinary situation here in Mumbai. Wait for the leopard to come. I light it the way I want it. I can see a compositional frame. Camera goes on that branch right there. Same height as the bridge. So we're looking at leopard eye level. Let's get to work. Leopards are usually wary of people, so Steve must operate remotely. He'll set up the camera and frame the image exactly the way he wants it, and then let the leopard trigger the shot itself when it trips a motion sensor. The camera will be mounted on a 30-foot platform built from scratch. But it's going to take these guys about three hours to build this. This is what they do. It's how buildings are made all over India and essentially in many places of the world are bamboo scaffoldings. Then lights go in these trees. <laughs> Crazy man. <laughs> the leopards walk the trail only at night, so Steve must rig a complicated system of lights and automatic triggers. This goes over here. To fire the camera, he uses an infrared beam. I don't want the beam to go above their head. I want, as they walk, boom, the arm right here is going to break the beam, and then off they go. The wireless transmitter is what sends a signal to the camera box to power up. You want the viewer to see an empty frame and then the leopard to walk into the frame. Go down. He won't turn any leopards away. But the one Steve's really hoping for is Big Daddy. We know from the trail cameras that this is part of Big Daddy's territory. And I really want a big dominant leopard. I don't want a cat that just seems to be skulking around. I want one that looks like it owns the place. I just think that'll give the shot more impact. 